let me fast travel to... Let's see... This guy looks like the aliens to the truth. I still gotta go with the old lady, of course, and try to find the ship. Uh, maybe here? Oh, you know what? A large donut thing. So maybe this is where I gotta go with the old lady. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I gotta go with the old lady. So let me grab the old lady again. I have the oddest feeling that all... You know what? Hold up, old lady. I'm going for a stroll at all. I think I need you to come to the right side, but first, I may need to take this path. Alright, let's see. Let me listen for the uh, control there. We got this. Yeah, yeah, look at that. The beep even starting. Oh, here we go. That's the ship. Seriously? <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Finally. I knew this old brain still had some juice in it. Queen Quantabline, I've returned your ship to you. I know it's late, but I'm sorry. You can stop hiding among us now. Queen Quantabline, are you there? Get Queen Quantableen back to the, her ship. So, here, can I possess the ship? I gave you your ship back. No. Can you help my queen? Any idea where she is? She's a hiding somewhere amongst you hairless apes. They stole our ship. They stole our ship. Wait, I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to get the ship. I mean, I did get the ship back, right? But where's the queen? Because apparently she's not in there. Interesting. Where, where could she be then? Uh, hold up. Let me check the map. Of course, that's the place I gotta go eventually. And then there's Elliot. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the hacker and hack it. Yeah, let's just try. Let's just try. Buffer. Overflow. Exploit. Oh, actually, you know what? Execution. I don't think we need the hacker. I think we need this guy. This guy definitely looks like a uh, alien. Hold on, buddy. You gotta go back up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna be the uh, the queen. <laughs> uh, if I look at the map, yeah, I gotta go this way a little bit. There we go. Yep, I'm here. There you are. Listen, dearie, I wanted to apologize for what I did back in the past. <laughs> Oh, uh, no way. What? Goodness gracious, she shot me. <laughs> I was apologizing and she shot me. Wow. Yeah. But to be fair, she didn't understand the language you were apologizing in. Well, <laughs> I'm off to the spinning maelstrom of eternal Pakwatoon. You like spinning maelstroms? Deary, I love adventure. I figure it's time to live a little, you know? I think I do. Let's go, Mrs. Secret Agent. Mrs. Uh, human Woman. Deary, <laughs> you can call me Priscilla. Man, well, at least we are done with that mission. Bring the Queen. Uh, next up, we need to cheer up Elliot, and we need to possess Elliot and enter Moonshine Shop. But first, let me just possess the ship. We, I want this up here now. No way. Hi, uh, I come in peace. Ha! Human. 
Your pitiful attempts at the thought projection ray will fail. Is that what that is? Listen, I'm just here to reap souls. I'm not really set up to be an intergalactic diplomat. Ugh. I will be party to this pitiful attempt at deception no longer. Alright, hold up. I think I gotta use her to destroy the cows, right? Uh, wait, what did I just do? Oh, that's how you grab the cow. There we go. We got one out of five. And there's another one here. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, we got two cows. Awesome. Now, what am I supposed to do with this one, though? Hmm. Interesting. Can I maybe get the crab out of the water? I mean, that's not doing anything. Oh, we can't go in the water. Huh. And I, th no, 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 no. I think... Can I get the crab out of the water? No. Uh, let me keep on looking for more cows then, I guess. If I look Locked. over here... But Elliot worked Locked. here, so he would have a key. I guess given everything else that's happened to me today, possessing my boyfriend probably won't be the weirdest thing I'll do. Hold on a minute. Oh, there's another cow. Alright, that's gonna be cow number three. There we go. Um, I'm getting very close to the llama. I'm curious if I'm supposed to get the llama out of this place. Yeah, hold up. Let me try to get the llama out. Ooh. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it's not really working. She's running away from me, so I'm not gonna be able to do it. Alright, this is the pet cemetery, which doesn't really have any cows, apparently. Alright, Lama. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm not gonna even focus on you. All I'm doing right now is just looking for some uh, some of those cows to complete the challenge. Alright, no cows up here. Ooh, there we go. There's another cow. Bad bones. Uh, what do we got? We got four out of five. Of course, we cannot go inside bad bones here. Let me keep her going. Uh, let me try to go inside the water a little bit. I want to try to explore the left side. Uh, I'm curious if there is a cow that I missed. Maybe it's inside the water? Nope, nothing here. All right, in that case, let me go back up. Let's keep on looking. Uh, there has to be one more cow right here somewhere. So we got the one on top of the tower. Uh, that's the fire station. It doesn't seem to have anything for me. Nothing on this side. But what about the bots? I don't think I can possess the bomb, but I wonder. Maybe I can hack it? With the hacker? Hmm. Where could the final sheep be located at? Uh, cow, actually. What was that? Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, no cows on top of the museum. No cows on top of the house here. Hmm. I mean, can I make my way inside the houses? No. Because this is an alien spaceship, right? We cannot go inside houses.
Yeah, you know what? Maybe I am supposed to use the officer to hack the bot. Because currently I am a little bit stuck. And I found the final cow. Perfect. Come here, buddy. There we go. We got them all. The Queen Quantibleen. Queen Quantibleen is the leader of the intergalactic exploratory fleet. That's right, aliens are real, and you're only finding out now from a collectible card in a computer game. <laughs> anyway, her bodyguard was killed by a giant steamroller, and since then she has been trapped in the on Earth. Hmm. Alright, well, with that done then, uh, let me just go to the police officer right here. Connect to this guy. And let me try to hack the bot. Because I seriously have no idea what I gotta do next. Or maybe actually the old lady's there, never mind. If you can't secure your I was thinking that maybe I'm supposed to get the real old lady. Oh uh, wait, where's the bot? Didn't I place the bot on the left side actually? If you can't secure your hardware, you've already lost. <laughs> if you can't secure your hardware, you've already lost. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly where that bot is. Hopefully, I didn't unlock it on the left, on the right side there, eh? Hmm. Uh, anyway, let me go over here for a second then. Can I chat with this guy? Overflow. Oh. Exploit. Allow execution of arbitrary code. So how am I supposed to interact? How am I supposed to cheer this guy up? Maybe if I bring the bot as I was saying, right, Elvis. Maybe that's how I'm supposed to cheer him up. Escaping their variables when taking input. Never trust your users. Because one of them is me. Never trust your users because one of them is me. Love it. Uh, hold on, buddy. Let me use the car here to go to the other side. I need to get Elvis hacked. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to do it. Um, stop here. Hey, kids. Officer Cyril Burspace says hacking is cool. There we go. I knew it. So this works. And probably Elvis here is going to be the one that's going to cheer up Elliot. Finally! Alright, Ronald Robson. When he's awake, Officer Robson is a complicated police officer. But when he's asleep, he transforms into, cybers into cyberspace, the most talented hacker to, to ever run a privilege escalation exploit. Unfortunately, he can only access these talents while asleep, which is a very frustrating way to live your life. <laughs> All right, blue screen shoes is completed. Um, how do I access the bot though? Imagine it not escaping their variables when taking it. So I did manage to activate the bomb, but apparently nothing's really happening. Interesting. Yeah, because we cannot access the bot. We cannot really control the bot. Um, what? What am I supposed to do then? Hmm. Uh, let me teleport here for a second. Let me go at the bottom here. I'm still trying to find those little bugs around. Uh, that I gotta take out with my scythe. I mean, seriously, dude. How am I supposed to get this guy to be happy now? You know what? Maybe I'm supposed to cheer him up by simply talking to him. So, um... No, I don't want him. I want to fast travel to Elliot.
Ego Elliot. I miss you, Penny. I can't believe you died so young. Elliot, sweetie. It's me, Penny. And yes, I technically died, but now I've kind of taken over for death in the afterlife. It's like I can still hear her voice. You are hearing my voice. I'm here, Elliot. I'm not really dead. Not all the way, anyway. I'm still here, and I still love you. And her voice is saying exactly what I want to hear. It's really me! Ah, oh, yes. She always used to say, it's really me, whenever I doubted whether or not she was really her. Holy crap, my dude. And I'm still all right, you know what I need here? I know exactly what I need. I think I need a psychiatric. So, let's just bring this fellow back. Psychiatry yeah, buddy, My you're gonna have to sing no so that Iliad is gonna be happy again. Pretty sure that's what I need. I was kind of confused here because I didn't really understand what who I'm supposed to use next in order to progress the quest, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the solution that I needed. Alright, that's gonna be uh, the bot. And this is the station for Elliot. Hey, buddy. I'm back. Oh, to see. No, it's I wanted to be happy. There we go. Cheer. No dead girlfriend reminders here. <laughs> but just be happy and don't be sad. But I have my condolences for your girlfriend, lad. Well, that's that my works. emotional problems mitigated. I'm now happy enough to at least walk around a little. Well, dad's expecting Finally. me at the shop. I'd better get there. See you later. Weird and unexpectedly helpful puppet. There we go. And he's gonna actually make his way to the shop. Well, Dad's expecting me at the shop. I'd better get there. Alright, buddy. Uh let me jump into Elia now. Wait, can I actually control the puppet only? No, 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 no. I think I can actually control only the puppets. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna be able to do it though. Yeah, never mind. Let's jump back into Elliot, back into the car, and make my way to the shop. It took a little bit before I figured it out, but finally we made it. Now, unfortunately, I did not manage to find all the little critters flying about to try to, uh, on my side at them, but anyway. Uh, I mean, I could try and check and see if those screws are here. Dang it. I, mean, I already got those critters from this area, right? Oh, yeah, I definitely did. It doesn't like there's even more on this side. Yeah, I definitely already got these ones. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> All right, come on, Elliot. Let's go in. I miss you, Penny. Dang it, he kicked me out again. Penny, I thought you were dead. I got real depressed. But then this puppet helped me and... Hey, what's going on with your eyes? Far out, right? <laughs> I noticed them myself. Oh, oh, can we have him? His fault is, it's just what we need to help you. Fine, but just him. <laughs> no, they possess Elias as well? Come on. Now, figure out this... All these controls? Oh, hey, Bones! Is this what we wanted? <laughs> that is it! Do it! <laughs> you! Useful idiot! Where did you get this? Oh, man, that takes me back. Uh, before I got into the whole hippie scene, I was big into goth. I used to wear that as a necklace when we'd dress up like vampires and dance to sad music, you know. But where did you get it? Oh, down at the pet cemetery. Uh, you like it, Penny? 
Happy to give you the friends and family discount, man. For you, just... Okay, you can borrow it, Penny. I'm cool. I'm not looking for any trouble. To the dead Pettiborium! So, to Man, summarize, come on. thanks to my brilliant actions, my boyfriend is now possessed by a ghoul, and Man. whoever stole my body now has a skull with a shard of death sickle in it. Just great. Think, Penny, think! Ugh, you need to fix this! I know I need to fix this, but steal a skull from your double ganger. Uh, can I connect to this guy? We can. Hey, Moonshine. Oh, man. Voices. That stuff I took worked just on an extremely delayed time scale. Uh, when did you take the stuff? I want to say the 60s. <laughs> and how much did you take? I want to say all of it. Ah, so I guess hearing my voice in your head as I take control of your body is going to feel pretty normal to you. Dude, no bigs. Make yourself at home. <laughs> yeah, All right, no. What am I supposed to do with them? Totally. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, I was hoping I could be able to do something about this craziness. Uh, where did they go, though? I have absolutely no clue. Oh, they're right here at the cemetery. Huh. So does that mean that I could go to the alpaca and maybe spit at them? Let's just try. I mean, yeah, I can try to spit at them, but nothing's really happening. Uh, okay, never mind. In that case, can I connect to them? Oh, I'm getting kicked. Thank it. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to come with the... Oh! Dig faster, imbecile! I'm trying! This body isn't meant for digging. I... Oh, I think it's mostly meant for eating chips and uh, playing video games. Bah! I demand skeleton parts, not excuses. Ah, so that's what they're doing. They're looking for skeleton parts. The problem is, that is a pet cemetery. Which means they're not gonna get what they're looking for. <laughs> Dig faster, imbecile. Ooh! Wait, what? That worked? My love. Where are you? Uh, no way! So, what if I go now? Uh, to... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me try this. Let me try to go to the alien. Just like that. Alright. And let me try to make my way now to the uh, pet cemetery, which is gonna be all the way to the right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I can now steal that skull. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, what was that? Huh. I do see something floating up here, but I'm not sure what that is. Ah, that's what that is all about. Another one of these bugs. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Oh, I got another one. By totally accident. Alright, hold up. Let me try to get back to the alien here. And while I try to get back to the alien, let me try to figure out if there's going to be more of those bats flying about. Uh, I think I need just a few more. Yes, look at that. There's another one here. All right, we got 10 out of 11, which means there has to be one more somewhere. Thinking correctly here, I think the way you're figuring out where those bats are located is by seeing those uh, blue circles flying about, right? Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, there's the bats. Are you kidding me? That was accidental. And we got him. We got all the challenges done. <laughs> Some say Romeo and Juliet is the most beautiful love story ever told. But the real most beautiful story is the one with uh, Courtney, Moonshine's wife and Elliot's mother. As a terminal disease stole her body from her, Moonshine uploaded her mind into a new mechanical body, which produced Mumbot. It's a nice story and not nightmarish at all. <laughs> All right, next, and the last one is Moonshine Finds the Holy Spirits. Moonshine Finds the Holy Spirits. 
I mean, this guy is moonshine, right? How am I supposed to get this guy to find the Holy Spirit? Hmm. So Musha finds the this Holy is a Spirit. Trip, man. A literal trip. I'm literally going on a trip with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy spirits. Uh am I supposed to go to the dock here? Mm, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I think is there's not much I can do with uh Moonshine on this side. Maybe the dog is supposed to come to him and chat with him a little bit. Let me try. Let me try that. Uh, holy spirits. Or maybe I'm supposed to take him to Mombat. Hmm. Jeez. Hold up. Let me try that then. Let's jump in the car and take him to Mombat. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I was thinking I'm supposed to take him to the cemetery, but I don't think you can actually take him there. Unless I take him to the cemetery over here. Yeah. Yeah. Or am I even supposed to go in the church? Yeah, you know what? Hold up. Let me go inside the church. Or out, man. That's the Holy Spirit. All right. Hey, spirit realm. What's up, my dudes? What the heck? There we go. We got the final challenge. An expert in both engineering and paranormal, Moonshine runs a store of uh, affordable wilderness. He enjoys reading about UFOs, cryptids, advanced hydrogen engine design, and uh, Bigfoot. <laughs> He's the father of Elliot and husband of Mumbot. And he loves them as much as he loves uh, hippie counterculture, which is to say a lot. Yeah, all right, you got all. Totally. Wee. <laughs> this chick is totally. Now, what am I supposed to do with these spirits? Because apparently, I don't really see them. Only he sees them. That is kind of weird. Can you actually chat with them? No. Huh. All right, anyway, I think now that we're done with this part, uh, all we gotta do next is, of course, steal the, uh, the skeleton. So, let me make my way to, again, the alien, right over here. Connect to the alien. And keep on going. Let's see if this is doable. So, apparently, I did eventually use the llama. I really thought I'm not gonna be able to do it. Here we go, we got the skull. Oh, oh she took it back. Seriously? Dang it. Nice Alright, make your double ganger drop the skull. No worries. I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, in order to make her drop it, we gotta do. Come on. Come on. Come on. We seek peaceful coexistence. There we go. Alright, now let me grab this. And let me try to steal it. Come on! Pick it up already! <laughs> we got it. Finally, I can see what all the fuss is about this skull. What are you anyway? Reagan, is that you? What happened, my love? Reagan's gone, man! Now <laughs> it's time to pay for what you've done! What do you have planned? <sighs> who... who are you? Uh, Penny? Huh? The woman whose body your partner stole? That's me, Penny. Please, I don't understand. Will you let me go? Will you bring me to Reagan? I don't understand. I thought you were this criminal mastermind, but what's going on? How did you get that shard in your head? Oh, this old thing? It was a long time ago. It went a little something like this. No way, seriously? We're going back to another story mode? <laughs> 
Chapter 6 The Life and well, the Death of the Woodsman. The Death Scythe had finally been found. Lodged in a human skull. The very same skull that was in the hands of none other than her terrifying doppelganger. Bad Penny was using it for all sorts of mischief. And as acting temp in the role of death, Penny knew it was her job to bring that scythe fragment back. And maybe, in the process, solve the mystery of why her body was running rampant throughout Flatwood Peaks in the first place. All she knew was that whoever, or whatever, was controlling her body, it desperately wanted one thing. A collection of bones kept somewhere on Earth. And those bones happened to turn up in the least convenient place possible. The back room of wacky affordable weirdness. Her boyfriend's father's store. Now, Elliot and his immediate family were in the crosshairs of whoever was controlling Penny's poor body. Luckily, Penny managed to save Elliot and his family from the clutches of her doppelganger, while at the same time managing to steal the skull with the shard of death's scythe embedded within. But it came at a terrible cost. Elliot was lost to the clutches of some horrifying ghouls. And, just as things couldn't get any worse, the skull Penny had been chasing began to speak. The story of my life and death begins like all great stories do. On Monday morning, many hundred years ago. Much better! <laughs> the old town already agreed on a name, sir. I love you, Regan. I love you, Harold! How do you feel about public displays of affection? Enthusiastic! What a coincidence! I feel the same way. Ow! <laughs> Seriously? So that's how you died, of course. What? No, this was just a surface head wound. No big deal. Harold, my love! Jeez, you could have just told me you secretly didn't want to kiss. You didn't have to hit me right in the middle of the head. That wasn't me hitting you. That was a weird piece of metal beating you right between the eyes. You seem remarkably okay. Yes, I'm tough. I'm a burly young man. I'll just walk it off because I've absorbed ideas about masculinity that make me think I can't ever show any pain. Okay, have fun walking, sweetie. We'll catch up later. <laughs> ah, so then you died. What? You became disoriented from your head wound and fell off a cliff or something. What? Don't be so morbid. I just went for a stroll up to my studio in the woods where I keep all my sculptures. Art always makes me feel way more manly. Whoa. Man, I absolutely love it that we're taking back inside these uh, memories, right? And we are able to actually encounter these spirits that we saw during our adventures, but now they're all alive, or at least they used to be alive. That is so cool. All right, anyway, guys, right this here. is going to be the end of this episode for now, and we'll come back in the next one. Uh, we're going to try to explore with the uh, woodsman a little bit and uh, try to figure out what has actually happened in the end and how he passed away. Be because I have a feeling the one that actually took control of my body is Reagan? Hmm, that is interesting. All right, anyway, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe out there, everybody, and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye!